Good morning on Tuesday. A quick uh, little interruption here uh, in honor of our very wonderful, uh, kind, brave veterans. Uh, tomorrow, even though it's during the middle of the week, tomorrow we're going to have no school in honor of Veterans Day. So there won't be any videos, no assignments for tomorrow. Um, I guess your assignment is to uh, say thank you to uh, any veterans that served in our armed forces uh, either now or over the years. But uh, let's focus on today, because uh, today we do have a video, we do have an assignment, and we're on the southeast states. So my fine folks, if you go right here in the middle of the country, and you go south, or you go east, well, southeast is this way, right? Uh, this is why it's called the southeast. Uh, what I really want you to focus on here is the northern border, which again, these big squiggly lines here, that's the Ohio River, and the Mississippi River. We do add these uh, states to the west of the Mississippi River, Arkansas and Louisiana. And then it's bordered on the bottom by the Gulf of Mexico and the east by the Atlantic Ocean here. Uh, but these are the southeast states. Now, as we talked about yesterday, uh, most of these state capitals are, number one, not the biggest city in the state. Now, there are a couple are. Nashville, Tennessee is the biggest city in Tennessee. Atlanta, Georgia is, is one of the biggest cities in our country. But most of these state capitals are not the biggest cities in their states. We have big cities like New Orleans, Louisiana, right here, not the capital. Baton Rouge is the capital of Louisiana. We have Tampa Bay, Florida, Miami, Florida, uh, Orlando, Florida, right about in here, uh, not the state capitals. Big, big cities, not the state capitals. In fact, Tallahassee, Florida is the capital of Florida. Um, and by the way, these little abbreviations, you're going to see this in your assignment, but uh, that kind of is the mailing abbreviation. Like if you'd write a letter to, uh, let's say you have a friend in Miami, Florida, you would write Miami, comma, FL, which stands for Florida, right? This is GA, Georgia, SC, South Carolina, so on and so forth. Uh, but again, what I like to do is, is, is look at these. I mean, Looking at the key here, the brown and the orange, those are so those are the biggest cities with, with a lot of people in. Um, the green means less people, and, and the pinky means hardly anybody lives in that area. But look at some of these huge cities. I mean, here we have Atlanta, Georgia, which is a state capital. Nashville, Tennessee, that is a state capital. Um, and then we have some other bigger cities in North Carolina, especially, look at this in in. In Florida, we have Miami and, and uh, you know, uh, Tampa Bay here, Jacksonville and Orlando and, and things like that. But most of these state capitals are inland, and most of the biggest cities in this area are either right on the ocean or a lot of them are right on these rivers. So they still have good shipping routes to get to the, uh, oops, sorry, to get to the uh, ocean. Now, here are the different state capitals of this area what you do is you go across like alabama the state capitals montgomery arkansas to little rock some of these you may have heard of some of these maybe not so much I, i'm going to quickly go to the next page because I, I this is spelled wrong raleigh this is spelled correctly raleigh north carolina right here so that's the correct spelling um but take a look at all these different capitals here again you see the ohio river border to the north the Mississippi River, which uh, makes up the state, shapes the lot. And then we have the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean and all these capital cities in here. Thursday, we're going to talk a little bit how they have in common these Appalachian Mountains. But uh, again, that's coming Thursday. Your assignment is this. Here's the abbreviations which I promised you. We have 12 states here in this region. Your job is to write in the capital city in the correct state again if you need to do some arrows like we had to do the northeast states you can i'm hoping these states are bigger or at least big enough that you can write the whole state capital neatly in there so atlanta here of course goes to georgia right atlanta georgia uh, so just write in the state capitals again remember please tomorrow no uh no assignments no videos and honor veterans day Lord's blessings to you today, and we'll see you back here on Thursday.